Have you ever wondered how a mineral buried in the ground can be transformed into one of the strongest and most valuable metals on the planet? Titanium, found in supersonic aircraft, medical implants and mobile phones, is one of the most admired materials for its lightness, durability and corrosion resistance. But its transformation is anything but simple. It requires extreme temperatures, controlled chemical reactions and precision technology. Although present in large quantities within the Earth's crust, titanium rarely appears in its pure state. It is usually hidden inside very hard minerals, such as ilmenite and rutile, which makes its extraction extremely complicated. Turning it into usable metal requires a chain of complex processes, crushing, refining, heating and purifying in multiple stages. Only after passing through each phase of this demanding journey does the titanium emerge as a dull silver block, lightweight yet incredibly strong. It can withstand salt water, extreme heat and even the most aggressive corrosion. More than just a story of engineering, this metal represents the human drive to push the limits of matter. The process begins with the search for natural deposits, where titanium is found in the form of minerals. The richest in this element are ilmenite and rutile, both with high levels of titanium dioxide. They are mainly found in coastal dunes or in ancient layers of rock buried beneath the ground. In mines located near the coast, powerful hydraulic pumps expel jets of pressurized water onto the sand, dislodging the grains containing titanium. Water performs a dual function. It carries away impurities and at the same time separates the heavier particles, rich in titanium, from the lighter ones, which are carried away by the current. The resulting mixture is piped to a primary separation station, where its volume is reduced before being transported to processing plants. In onshore deposits, however, the method is more direct. Huge excavators remove the topsoil to expose the mineral, which is then loaded into high-capacity trucks, before being sent to the plant, the material is sifted, washed and classified, removing stones and soil residue. Titanium mining not only involves considerable technical effort, it also represents a major environmental challenge, requiring the movement of millions of tons of material and the consumption of enormous amounts of water. Once extracted, the mineral undergoes a crushing and separation process designed to increase its purity. At this stage, the finer particles are subjected to several filtering methods. Gravity separation concentrates heavy particles containing titanium. Magnetic separation removes compounds with high iron content. Flotation removes silica, quartz and other lighter impurities. Each phase acts as an additional refining layer, removing what is unnecessary and leaving only a concentrate with a high percentage of titanium dioxide. The end result is a reddish-grey powder or sand, which can now be considered a strategic industrial raw material. This concludes the mining part of the process, but the path to metallic titanium is just beginning. The resulting concentrate is transported to metallurgical facilities where chemical transformation begins. Inside sealed furnaces, the ore is exposed to chlorine and carbon gas at extremely high temperatures. This reaction generates a liquid rich in metal chlorides, much more manageable for the following steps. The compound is filtered and distilled several times to remove traces of iron, manganese or other elements that could weaken the metal. Only when it reaches extreme purity does it move to sealed steel reactors. There it is mixed with magnesium or sodium, which act as reducing agents under controlled conditions of heat and pressure. Over several hours, the titanium slowly separates from the compound, forming porous deposits that adhere to the reactor walls. What you get is not a shiny ingot, but a grey spongy mass known as titanium sponge, the first metallic state of titanium in its purest form. When the reactor is cooled, it is opened and the sponge blocks are carefully removed. They are broken into smaller fragments, washed to remove residual salts, and dried until a raw metal is obtained which, although not yet ready for use, marks a turning point. Titanium ceases to be a mineral and becomes a real metal. In this phase, the titanium sponge is broken up, washed and dried to achieve maximum purity. The material is then compressed into solid blocks called titanium electrodes which will be used for the most advanced refining process, vacuum arc remelting, known as VAR. In a VAR furnace, the electrode is placed vertically above a water-cooled copper crucible. A powerful electric arc melts the titanium layer by layer. 
Each molten drop falls to the bottom, where it slowly solidifies, forming a uniform, impurity-free ingot. When the titanium ingot is removed from the furnace, its surface still radiates an intense orange-red color, indicating that it has retained a temperature of over 1,000 degrees Celsius. At this point, the metal reaches a state of maximum plasticity, meaning it can be deformed without fracturing, taking on new shapes with relative ease. This condition is essential for the subsequent stages of the process, where it will be precisely pressed, rolled or molded. While it remains incandescent, titanium reveals one of its greatest virtues, combining hardness and flexibility in a way that few materials on Earth can match, marking the beginning of its definitive industrial transformation. Once the titanium ingot has been melted and reached the ideal temperature, one of the most intense and spectacular stages of the process begins, industrial forging. In this phase, the glowing block, still glowing from the heat, is precisely held by a specialized robotic arm, which transfers it to a gigantic hydraulic press. This machine, capable of exerting thousands of tons of pressure, is the heart of the metal transformation. With each stroke of the pistons, the ingot is progressively compressed, stretched and flattened. The roar of the impact reverberates throughout the factory like metallic thunder, while the red-hot titanium changes shape under the overwhelming force of the machinery. But this process goes far beyond simple physical deformation. Forging modifies the internal structure of the metal, eliminating small bubbles or voids that may have formed during casting. At the same time, it rearranges the titanium's crystalline grains, orienting them in the direction of mechanical stress. This microscopic rearrangement is what gives the material superior strength and a greater ability to withstand stress without fracturing. After multiple cycles of pressing, heating and controlled cooling, the initial ingot, rough and irregularly shaped, is transformed into a homogeneous and compact titanium billet with perfect density and precise measurements. Each stage of pressing is monitored by sensors and digital systems that record temperature, pressure and deformation, ensuring consistent quality in each piece produced. The result is a material that has literally been rebuilt from the inside out, ready for the next stages of its evolution – rolling, wire drawing or precision machining, where it will take on the shapes that will later give life to critical components for aviation, medicine or space exploration. At this point, titanium ceases to be just a refined metal. It becomes a structure designed to withstand the impossible. Once the banknotes have been obtained, the most delicate phase begins – industrial machining. First, the pieces are cut and sanded to remove the outer oxidized layers. During this process, sparks fly as machines remove every fraction of a millimeter of excess. Titanium, however, is difficult to work with. It is extremely hard, retains heat and can warp if the temperature is not controlled. For this reason, the entire process is carried out using constant cooling systems, which keep both the metal and the tools stable. The parts are then moved to CNC computer numerical control machines. In them, titanium blocks are precisely fixed, while high-speed cutters follow digitally programmed paths. This enables turning, milling, drilling and engraving operations to be performed with tolerances of just thousandths of a millimeter. In this way, titanium is transformed into essential components for highly demanding industries, from aircraft turbine blades to medical prosthetics or underwater structures. Each piece is the result of a combination of advanced engineering and meticulous human supervision. Once the titanium parts or bars have completed their long manufacturing process, the final phase begins – packaging and distribution. Each finished item is carefully assembled, following strict safety and quality control standards. Depending on the size and type of product, each batch can include anywhere from a few dozen to several hundred units. The bars are secured with heavy-duty steel straps, ensuring they remain firm during transport. They are then wrapped in protective plastic or oiled paper, materials that prevent moisture, dust or corrosion from affecting their surface. This coating also prevents scratches or friction damage during handling in warehouses or at loading ports. Before being shipped, all batches are labelled with detailed technical information alloy type, exact dimensions, batch number, total weight, and in many cases a traceability code that allows each piece to be tracked from the factory to its final destination. This rigorous control is essential in industries where precision and reliability are not optional, such as aerospace or medical. Once packed, the packages are placed on wooden pallets or metal frames, which facilitate their movement using cranes or forklifts. These bases ensure stable weight distribution, reducing the risk of deformation during transport. 
From there, the batches are ready to begin their journey to aerospace factories, precision engineering workshops, specialized hospitals, or chemical plants, where the titanium will find its ultimate purpose. Each bar, each component or piece represents the end of a meticulous process and the beginning of a new stage in which titanium demonstrates its true value, combining strength, lightness and durability like no other metal on Earth. Oh, from the grey sands of ilmenite to the silver ingots that shape aircraft engines, titanium undergoes a long and demanding journey. It is crushed, refined, reduced to sponge and then purified in vacuum furnaces before becoming a solid block. It is then forged, rolled and machined with such high precision that only a few microns separate perfection from error. The result is a material that has changed the history of modern engineering. Titanium is resistant to salt water, extreme heat and crushing pressure, yet remains light enough to fly. Its presence marks the boundary between nature and technology. Every piece of titanium, whether a medical implant, a turbine or a satellite part, is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to master the Earth's elements.